morning, everyone. We acknowledge that the land upon which we gather is unceded Mi'kmaq territory, and we pay our respects to the indigenous Mi'kmaq people of this territory, past, present, and future. Distinguished guests, please rise for the graduates.
graduates. My name is Rebecca Rayo, I'm one of the vice principals here at Charlton Rural. And I'm joined on stage by my administrative counterparts, Ms. Brenda Bryden, Mr. Stephen Wynn, and Principal Dale McIsaac. Just in case you haven't discovered it yet, the washrooms are located behind the gym as well as that door over there, in case. Uh, this year, uh, the rural has a grad class of 373 students, and we have approximately 358 participating in ceremonies today and tomorrow, so it's a fantastic turnout. Today, we are going to celebrate their hard work and wish them well as they move towards the next chapter in their lives. But let me be the first to say to you, the grads of 2022, congratulations. I'd like to call upon uh, Mr. McIsaac to bring his principal's address to the graduates. Graduates, guests, staff, administrators. There are three reasons why Charlotte Temporal High School continues to be one of the top schools in the country. Our supportive school community, our tremendous staff, and our terrific students. The school community members have shown us many times this year how supportive they are of the school, how important what goes on here is to them, and how appreciative they are of all the opportunities provided to the students. This support was demonstrated by the thousands of dollars that were donated during Staff Appreciation Week. We also felt this support from the many volunteer coaches from our community who gave up their time and talent in many athletic teams and other events here at Charlottetown Rural. We, re we received hundreds of emails to thank teachers for their extra effort during online learning, for accommodating students who were struggling, mostly with the results of the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. But we received thank yous for all the extra time, extra help, extra attention the staff provided to allow the students to be as successful as possible. I want to say a special thank you to Patricia Callahan, our home and school chairperson. She has been involved in home and school since her children entered the school system. And now that her youngest is graduating, it's fitting that we acknowledge her support and all the support she's been to all the schools in our family. Thank you, Mr. Christian. Thank you to Patricia and all the entire school community for your continued support of Charlottetown Rural. The staff here at Charlottetown Rural are top notch. The 100 people who come to work every day do a tremendous job of caring for the students, the public, and the building. Beyond the excellent teaching, that goes on every day, there are so many extra opportunities for students to connect to their school and to experience a well-rounded education. The staff provide close to 50,000 volunteer hours every year because they care about the quality of your children's education. You can be confident that this staff is one of the best in the country. The support staff and the custodial team work equally as hard to ensure the public feel welcome and the lines of communication are kept open and to ensure the building is well maintained. All of the employees at Charlottetown Rural understand their role in providing quality education experience for everyone connected to our school. And I thank them for their continued support. There are few from this group who are retiring at the end of the school year and we want to thank them for their many years at the rural. Mr. Philip Pirlo, 
joined Charlotte County Rural Staff in September 1995. He taught many social studies courses, photography, theater arts, and many others. And then he transitioned into our International Baccalaureate Program Coordinator. He guided our IB program through two program reviews, both with positive reports. Philip contributed many hours to extracurricular activities throughout the school. From theater productions and agriculture awareness to canoe trips and lots of community service, Mr. Pirlo was always available to assist students who were keen on maximizing their high school experience. Mr. Molmahan has been our welding and automotive teacher since 1994. He has nurtured an interest in these trades for many young people. He's always been skilled at offering advice and not opinions, making suggestions and not demands, providing options and not ultimatums. He ran a tight ship, and all his students respected the professionalism which he modeled for them. Those students who chose to be were well prepared for the next level. Mo contributed many hours of volunteer time to the school as well. And like Mr. Pirlo, his talents were often on display, and he thoroughly enjoyed the opportunities to be involved. We will miss the experience and the commitment as these two gentlemen have invested in our school, but we wish them all the best in their retirement. Mrs. Kim McBurney began teaching at Charlton Rural in 1999. Mrs. McBurney was a leader in the integration of technology into our province's education curriculum, and she modeled best practices in this area for many island teachers. Her time at CRHS was interrupted a few times. Go to the Department of Education and help with the science curriculum. But when here, she taught all levels of science courses for us. She contributed to the IB program as a chemistry instructor. Mrs. McBurney really knew her stuff. This past year, she's been dealing with some health issues, so we wish her good health in her retirement. Ms. Ruth McDonald has been a cleaner here for 10 years. She too, this year, has had some significant health issues and with her doctor's advice, has decided to retire. And we wish her all the best. So the class of 2022 is a very talented group. We started at Charlton Road together, and it's been my pleasure to watch them learn, to mature, and to succeed. They have excelled in the classroom, in many sporting venues, at provincial and national schools and debate competitions, and lots of activities outside the school as well. Their accomplishments are impressive indeed. But the most important, most impressive attribute of this group has been their positive response to all rules and restrictions they faced as a result of the pandemic. They have done everything that we asked of them. They understood how important it was to be together in school, and they responded by doing more than their part. They sanitized their hands many times a day. They cleaned desks and equipment before and after they used it. They wore masks all the time. Sure, there were a few who regularly showed off their nose. But for the, for the vast majority, they followed all the rules so they could be together. We are very proud of them. And for, we will remember them as a very cooperative and caring group. Now, graduates, as you finish up your time as a Raider, please note that you are as prepared as possible to take the next step. Some of you will begin your journey with small steps, and some have plans to take on huge challenges. The school community and the Charlotte Rural staff have great faith in you, and they wish you all the best. Congratulations to the class of 2022.
on Sunday. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. McIsaac. All right, folks, just for your information, please make note of the following. The graduates will be queued in groups of 30 to rise and form a line immediately to my left along the wall. And when their name is read, they will approach the stage and receive their diploma exiting on my right. For pictures, you will have plenty of time to come forward to our designated area on my right and prepare for a picture along the rural backdrop. We please ask that you respect the boundary that is placed there and note that you are more than welcome to come back and take pictures after the ceremony. Graduates, after your photo, you are asked to return to your seat, please. This graduation is being videotaped and a link to the ceremonies will be shared through the Google Grad Classroom as well as through parent email. The convocation itself will officially end after the playing of God Save the Queen. And if you have a program in your hand, please note students with a diamond next to the name are graduates from the International Baccalaureate Program. Grads with an asterisk next to the name have been designated as having attained honors. Now, before we begin the presentation of diplomas, I would like folks to take note that in some cases, the UPEI Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarships were based on conditional offers. The value of the scholarship may change depending on the student's final transcript. Will the first row graduates please rise? Ms. Bryden, I'll turn the podium over to you. CRHS Student Recognition Award. CRHS Student Recognition Award. Isaac Bola. Isaac is awarded a prize for achievement in automotive basic powertrain 801. Ben Boulder Jenkins. CRHS Student Recognition Award. Jeremy Bouvier. Jeremy is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award. Will Campbell. Will is awarded a UPPI Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship.
Justin Carr. Justin is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award. Lance Cassidy. Lance is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award. B. Chang. is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award. <laughs> Caitlin Chapel. <laughs> Caitlin is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award. CRHS Student Recognition Award. Lexi Chapel. Lexi is presented with the Mount Allison $4,000 Enhanced Renewable Scholarship, a Mount Allison $1,500 Entrance Bursary, and a prize for achievement in Music Appreciation 801. $3,000 Renewable Entrance Scholarship and prizes for achievement in Chemistry 611, Mathematics 611, Music Band 621. And I would ask, please stand if you are able and recognize Rich as he receives a prize for the graduate with the second highest aggregate. Hi, 
Riley Cotton. <laughs> Kyle is awarded a prize for achievement in Global Issue 621. Sydney Crosby. Alexa Dode. Alexa is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award. Kaylin Dingla. Kaylin is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award. <laughs> William Drake. <laughs> William is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award. <laughs> ben Duffy. Ben is awarded the CRHS Student Recognition Award. <laughs> Jennifer Deutman. <laughs> Jennifer is awarded the CRHS Student Recognition Award. CRHS 
DHS Student Recognition Award. Chris D. Chris is awarded the CRHS Student Recognition Award. Amy Hardy. Amy is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award. Jake Henderson. is awarded the Bill Powell Award and the UPEI Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. <laughs> Miratoa Mwang. <laughs> Toa is awarded prizes for achievement in Economics 621 and Mathematics 611. Joshua Hughes. Josh is awarded the CRHS Student Recognition Award. Ahmed Ibrahim. Ahmed is presented with the UPEI Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. Cameron Jennings. Cameron is awarded the CRHS Student Recognition Award. Daylon Johnson Ross. Daylon is awarded the CRHS Student Recognition Award. Kaya Kennedy. Kaya is awarded a CRHS Deserving Award. Vivian Kubar. Vivian is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award. Connor Kim. Brandon is awarded the Morgan 
Open the Guinness Memorial Scholarship. Isaac Conley. Isaac is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award. Mariana Lopez Aldon. Mariana is presented a prize for achievement in hospitality and tourism in 801. Bring the Cosmo. Brynn is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award. Ben McDonald. Ben is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award. Logan McDonald. Logan is awarded the CRHS Student Recognition Award. Victor McDonald. Victor is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award. Lachlan is awarded the prize for achievement in physical education 801 and the UPEI Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. Emory McEwen. Emory is awarded a prize for achievement in mathematics 621A and a UPEI Celebrated Student Achievement Scholarship. I invite Ms. Laura McDonald to the stage. Ella McLeod. Award. Leading the crowd. Katie is presenting the Royal Canadian Education Bursary Charlottetown Branch, the Alexander Bradshaw Campbell University of Prince Edward Island $2,000 Infant Scholarship, and the UPEI Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. Jensen McMillan. <laughs> Jensen is awarded the Senior HS Student Recognition Award. <laughs> Yannick McPhee. <laughs> Yannick is awarded the Senior HS Student Recognition Award. Alex is awarded the CRHS Student Recognition Award. <laughs> Nolan Marquis. <laughs> Nolan is awarded the CRHS Student Recognition Award. Recognition Award. Brandon McGinnis. Brandon is awarded the CRHS Student Recognition Award. Megan McKenna. Megan 
is awarded the CRHS Student Recognition Award. Adrian Magia. Adrian is awarded the CRHS Student Recognition Award. April McAuliffe. for achievement in Global Issues 61. Kale Mitten. Kale is awarded the CRHS Student Recognition Award. Lindsay Mostyn. Lindsay is awarded the CRHS Student Recognition Award. Brian Much. Brian, Brian is awarded the CRHS Student Recognition Award. Marie Nishimwe. Marie is awarded the CRHS Open, Open School Prize. Naomi. Axel is awarded the CRHS Holman School Prize and a prize for achievement in accounting 801. Dylan Probert. Dylan is presented to the Arsenal Brothers Construction Limited Award and a prize for achievement in coverage 801. Ahmad is awarded the UPDI Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship.
Thompson. valedictorian for this very school. It started with a simple application detailing what I must do to apply and questions such as, tell us why you deserve this title. So simple, yet it has blossomed into something so incredible. 
Who would have thought that a piece of paper would allow me, Pete Christie, to stand at the threshold of your futures and cut the finish line ribbon with scissors of resignation, motivation, and congratulations? Although for some, I am not cutting a finish line ribbon at all. For some, I am speaking you towards the floodgates of the real world, indeed intimidating, but full of opportunity. June the 3rd of this year was a day of epiphany for me. It started out as a normal school day just until the afternoon. At approximately half past two, I presented my sample speech in front of my peers. Similar to what I'm doing now, just a lot less people. For about five minutes, I stood at the same, student, same podium, showing my fellow students what I would be like as a catalyst to a new world and a representative of our accomplishment. When the clock struck 2.35, remember this time, 2.35, I concluded, followed by a round of applause and a heart ready to burst out of my chest. However, it was not within any of the moments preceding June 3rd, 2022 at 2.35 p.m. that I have had a realization of this magnitude. It was the very moment after, at 2.35 p.m., the moment I sat back down from my sample speech that I was struck with that epiphany I mentioned earlier. For any of you who are familiar with the word valedictorian, you may know it is simply an anglicized derivation of the term to say goodbye in Latin. I find that funny and very underselling of the position in which I am so honored to have received. Valedictorians from any year to any school usually abide by the definition of that name. But I'd like to take a different approach, because no one wants a cliché and immemorable conclusion to such an important day. On June 3rd at 2.35 p.m., the moment I sat down for my speech, I cracked a smile, sitting in my chair in front of the crowd. I realized I am doing so much more than saying farewell to our lives for the last 18 years. More than saying farewell to the same era we learned to tie our shoes with bunny ears. The era our guardians gave us that first boost to get our bikes going without training wheels and sat us at the table while tears dampened the page full of problems like five plus five. To this same era of slamming a door with a string tied to a wiggling tooth, of scurrying to switch tabs from cool math games to a blank Google Doc as your teacher passed by, <laughs> and of sitting at the cafeteria table surrounded by your friends. The same era we nervously traverse those first driving lessons, I am most definitely not simply saying farewell to. Instead, at 2.35 p.m. on June 3rd, I realized I am saying hello to something so much bigger. Hello to a new era of getting acceptance letters in col to colleges and universities where we can pursue what we love most. Hello to an era of discovering passion, an era in which we will exponentially grow and grow independently, as if we've outgrown the stakes a tree uses to grow when it's not strong enough to stand up on its own. Hello to soon having to pay our own bills, sadly. <laughs> and hello to an era of freedom to choose for ourselves who we will share our lives with. Hello to the development of our true selves. I am saying hello for each and every one of my peers to the rest of our lives. Throughout these times, transi transitioning from childhood to adulthood, our parents and guardians have given their all to provide for us and made sacrifices so we can celebrate this very day. To every guardian, whether they were able to be in this crowd or not, that helped get us here today, we cannot thank you enough. And I cannot forget the importance of our teachers. They motivated us, encouraged us and saw our unique potential, often the same ones who pretended not to see us playing cool math games at the back of the class. The great things we will do are rooted in the teachers who impacted us most. Thank you to every teacher who helped get us here today and impacted us so we can all greet the life ahead of us. So graduates, let this ceremony be your version of my epiphany on June 3rd, 2022 at 2.35 p.m. My epiphany that we must greet the future with open arms and not dwell on the past. My epiphany that focusing on and celebrating moving forward 
is so much more important than reminiscence. When you hit another one of these 2.35 p.m.s in your life, moving from one stage to the next, don't mourn the loss of familiar ways. Have no regrets and look forward to what the future will bring. I am not ending this with a goodbye and I do not want tears. This is a greeting. Let this mark to each and every one of the beginning of each and every one of your futures. Congratulations, class of 2022. Thank you. 